Hey guys, welcome to a new video where Microsoft just announced all types of new products and I actually had the opportunity to go up to the campus earlier this month and check them out. Not only did I get to check out these products, but I got to kind of go behind the scenes and see how these things are actually made and see everything from how they choose a paint, how they do 3D printing, how they do laser etching. I got to go to the quietest room in the world and it was honestly a really shocking experience because yes, I see this technology every day, but I really have never seen how it's made and everything that actually goes into it. So I can't wait to share with you guys what the products are and essentially what goes into making them. The first thing that I was actually really excited to see is something that I have been wanting to get an upgrade for quite some time now, and that is the Surface Studio 2. I used this device during the whole pandemic for not only my PC, but for my streaming and for everything until I did eventually get a gaming PC. But it is just one of my favorite devices because it really is so versatile. But we now have the Surface Studio 2 Plus. This still has its sleek design and it has a 28 inch pixel sense touchscreen with digital pen, flexible transformations, and the latest Windows 11. We have the 11th gen Intel Core i7 processor with the NVIDIA GeForce 3060 GPU. So the Surface Studio 2 Plus has double the graphics performance than the Surface Studio 2. It also has up to 50% faster CPU and is five times more powerful than the original Studio. The new Windows 11 updates also work seamlessly on it. I was playing around with it and it was really cool seeing how fast things happened you know I was drawing I was putting things into the, you know the different snap modes we took a picture on the duo that picture instantly went to the camera roll on the Surface Studio 2 plus so we still have everything that we love about the Surface Studio 2 but with an upgrade the internals got an upgrade we also now have more ports we have three USB-C Thunderbolt 4 we have two USB type A we have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and a one gigabit Ethernet port we have 32 gigs of memory and for the storage we have one terabyte. They are all going to be shipping in that configuration so there is no customization that you can do there. We also now do have the 1080p full HD front facing camera and with all of the new Windows 11 updates it just looks so so good. So if you're taking your team's calls I feel like you won't be disappointed because it's going to look great. We also do have a new fun little device which is the Microsoft Audio Dock. You can expand your connections with four different ports, HDMI, two USB-C's and a USB-A. You can also set up more screens. You can connect up to two monitors with HDMI and USB-C. It does come in this compact, cute little design. Honestly, it was just like sitting on the desk and I didn't even really notice it at first because I was like too excited about the Studio 2 Plus. But once I actually took a look at it, I was like, this is actually pretty cool. Moving on to the Surface Laptop 5. This does come in a 13.5 inch or a 15 inch with Pixel Sense touchscreen display. It also has Thunderbolt 4, which means you could connect to a 4K monitor, charge your laptop and deliver fast data transfer for large video files. We also do have the Dolby Vision as well as Dolby Atmos. The Windows Hello is so fast. Basically, you start to open the laptop and by the time it's almost open, you are already signed in. That way you are ready to go, ready to game, ready to work ready to do whatever you're gonna do on your Surface Laptop 5. The one thing I love about Microsoft is how inclusive they are, and the one feature that's really cool on a lot of their products is the one finger open. You're actually able to open the laptop with one finger, and I've tried this on other laptops, and it's just not physically possible. For the ports, we do have one USB-C Thunderbolt 4. It also has one USB-A, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and the Surface Connect port. This actually has a 50% performance boost, and even though so it does have that boost, it still has the same weight and the same thickness as the previous generation, so it's not heavier, but it is better. Also new, let's talk about the Microsoft Surface Pro 9. The Surface Pro 9 has the Intel 12th gen processors, which are built on the Intel Evo platform. For the colors, we have Platinum, Graphite, my personal favorite, Sapphire, and Forest. We have the 13 inch pixel sense flow display. We have 120 Hertz dynamic refresh rate. This also has an optimized pen and touch. And as soon as you pull out the pen, it knows that you wanna go into pen mode and it just knows. So it makes it a lot easier to switch from using it as a normal laptop or tablet to pen mode. But we also have the Surface Pro 9 with 5G. It's actually pretty cool how they incorporated the antennas. It's just such like a seamless design where you really don't notice them unless you're looking for them. We have the 13 inch pixel sense flow display. We have the dynamic refresh rate up to 120 hertz. We also have the 10 point multi-touch with the Gorilla Glass 5. This will come with the 
12th gen Intel Core i5 or the i7. And this device is going to be all fanless, so it is gonna be powerful, but it's also gonna be quiet. This actually runs 80% faster than the previous version. This has the Microsoft SQ3 processor and the neural processing unit. And let's talk about what that kind of means for a second. You might see that and be like, eh, whatever, but um, actually knowing what it does is pretty remarkable. We were doing some Teams calls and in the Teams call, you know, it's really hard to sometimes have eye contact like you're looking at the camera or you're looking at the screen. Most of the time you're looking at the screen. This actually uses the AI with the NPU to adjust your eyes to where they naturally should be. So say if you're, you know, moving your head, moving your eyes, moving your face, looking down, or maybe you're reading, say you're, you know, reading a teleprompter or you're reading, it will adjust so that your eyes are positioned where they are supposed to be, where they're meant to be, and what is natural. So the AI that's actually happening is remarkable, and this doesn't take away from the GPU or the CPU. That all happens separately so that it's not pulling that extra power. Are we trying to break the demo? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, just talk a little bit about what it sounds like as I'm doing with the surface. So if everyone wants to come closer or farther away, we can see it's very loud. It's hot. So it's getting close. Yeah, I think I can hear Judd now. I was the most impressed by the demonstration that we did when it came to the voice isolation in a Teams call. Because of this technology, it was able to get rid of all of that background noise. It was able to distinguish between what voice was supposed to be heard, and it actually worked. We were in there screaming. If I wouldn't have experienced this, I would have been like, you're a liar. Now, while we were there, we got to see behind the scenes of you know a lot of the 3D printers that they use to print different prototypes. We got to see a different uh, section where they do laser etching. We got to see the paint room where they literally customize paint and make sure that it's going to be perfect on all of the materials. Then we got to see the custom Liberty London design that they collaborated with to make this incredible incredible Surface Pro 9. And I am pretty sure that this color blue speaks for itself. We have the laser etching on the back, which is probably why we got to see a little laser etching behind the scenes. We have the incredible mouse. I just love this collaboration. I love the look of this. I love everything about it. And I think that they absolutely did an incredible job on this device. We also got to check out the inclusive tech lab. I really love that Microsoft listens to their customers and that they try to create for everyone. We have the new Microsoft adaptive mouse hub and buttons. These are three components that work together. They're easy to pair. You can attach, detach, or even switch sides. This is a slim hub with a light design. It's easy to press the buttons and they're perfect for any workspace. You can also have multiple connections. You can have less cord clutter. This adaptive hub connects up to three devices wirelessly or via USB-C. So those are the new products that Microsoft has just launched as well as a little behind the scenes from my tour. I had the absolute best time. I got to see my tech friends. I got to meet so many incredible people who work at Microsoft and I'm just very, very grateful to Microsoft for the experience and for trusting me behind those doors. They were key card and everywhere. A lot of really great updates across the line, a lot of very nice new colors and just overall a really great experience for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you again to Microsoft for allowing me to have this amazing opportunity. Make sure you guys subscribe and I will see you next time for a new video. Bye. <laughs> so right now we're in the world's quietest room. Quiet. It's so quiet. Oh, the door's the door's shutting. It's gonna get more quiet. Shh. What if sound could be captivating? Subtle. Always on display. World's quietest room. No lights. Are you scared? It's among us. <laughs> I'm gonna fall over. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna fall Are over. You <gasps> Oh, oh, we've all got devices on. No! Here we go. Oh, no. It's gone. <laughs>